afternoon. Welcome to the evening forecast discussion for September 27, 2011. We are ending Tuesday and it looks like it's going to be a little bit on the wet note, unfortunately, for many locations in northeastern Pennsylvania. We have an area of moderate to heavy rainfall over east central Pennsylvania that is slowly inching towards Lancaster County. Now, this area of rainfall is due to the upper level low over the Ohio River Valley. And this area of rainfall is what we can expect to slowly inch its way to the east towards the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area by tomorrow and for much of Thursday morning. So let's take a look at the latest satellite picture. And I think you can pretty much make out where our upper level low is. It is sitting over Chicago and it is slowly inching to the east, moving towards the Ohio River Valley ever so slowly. And as a result, we have this stationary front over west central Pennsylvania that will continue to slowly inch east as our upper level low moves east. And as a result, our area of rainfall, which you can see lifting right here, will also slowly move east. Otherwise, for much of the northern Atlantic, we could look for broken to overcast cloud cover and a return of locally dense fog late tonight on through tomorrow morning. The fog tomorrow morning is going to be anywhere from a half a mile, possibly even as low as, as a quarter of a mile, to as high as four miles in visibility. So obviously driving tomorrow morning is not going to be pretty with this fog. Let's take a look at the latest European satellite picture though. And what we have for the forecast is again our upper level low slowly moving east. This upper level low is going to produce some moderate to heavy rainfall on Thursday morning. I think that's when the heaviest rainfall is going to be. Rainfall before that time period will be scattered in nature and the showers will be capable of producing very heavy downpours. By Friday morning, our upper level low is starting to move into the eastern Great Lakes and is caught up by our trough in the polar jet stream. So now we have a trough over the Pacific, ridge over the Intermountain West, and a trough in the east. And because of that trough, it gets the upper level low gets captured and finally starts to lift towards the north and east. That's going to produce another strong cold front on Friday afternoon, unfortunately. And this cold front will bring a real change in the air mass. Say goodbye to the 80s and say hello to the 60s. And Saturday is going to be very cool with many locations stuck in the mid to upper 50s. So clearly we are moving towards a much cooler air mass and much cooler regime. Now one thing I'm going to keep an eye on for this weekend is this upper level low. As the energy of the basis trough cuts off and a new upper level low develops, there is potential for a little bit more rainfall than what I'm currently forecasting. The question is where does this upper level low develop, how strong does it get, and where is the surface reflection? There is a great amount of what we call volatility, which means we're not really sure what's going to happen with this low pressure system. Right now I'm expecting variable cloud cover with isolated showers, a very cool weekend on the way for Saturday, and of course as we move into Sunday, as this upper level low pivots over the northern Atlantic and a surface low keeps very unsettled weather conditions over much of the northern Atlantic. So at the very least expect cloud cover. Uh, at the worst case, look for a few scattered showers, possibly a period of heavy rainfall, depending on the development of this upper level low and this surface low pressure system. If all goes well though, we'll just end up cloudy and cool, very much fall-like and perfect for football weather. So there we go. Now we got the weather that we need for the Jets, Giants, and Eagles and all the uh, college football games. Moving into next week, again, we have a lot of these cutoff loads, which is kind of normal for this time of year as the whole pattern starts to change and we start to deal with a new type of weather pattern setting up as our wavelengths start to change. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this upper level low again for Monday morning. But as we move into next week, we're going to have another trough to try to build in and we're going to remain relatively cool for the most part when our temperatures near to below normal through this weekend and into early next week, we're talking about highs in the, I mean, should I say lows in the mid 30s? That's right, mid 30s over some interior locations to the lower 40s in the urban locations and highs in the mid 50s 
to lower 60s this weekend, rebounding into the lower 60s to possibly touching 70 degrees by early next week ahead of our next cold front, which is right here. So that is your forecast discussion for this evening for September 27th, 2011. Hope everyone has a great evening and stay safe out there.